In this complete React course, you will learn how to use React by creating a fun game. Replit is sponsoring this course, and we'll start by creating a React project on Replit. If we run the starter project, we'll see the React website open up here. A React project starts in index.html by loading the main JavaScript file, which often renders a second JavaScript file into the HTML. We'll be working in this file. You'll see a lot of JSX, which is similar to HTML, but in a JavaScript file. We'll change this to a class component and return some JSX, which should display in our browser. Now we'll return a board component that we still have to create. So let's create that now. We'll start with a constructor that allows us to store state, which is how we can keep track of values. Now I'll create a render method, which is going to render our squares and the score. It's required that there is an opening and closing tag around everything that is returned. We can see this showing up in the browser. Now I'll create a function component called square. A function component is a simpler way to write components. One difference of JSX compared to HTML is that you have to use class name instead of class. In this button, we'll use props that will be passed into this component. I'll start a handle click method that I'll finish later. Now I'll update the render method to map through the squares in the state and create a square component for each one. I'll pass in props for value and on click. Now the square component can use the handle click method from the board component. This fill squares method is where the game will really start to take shape. Squares will mainly be an emoji with small eyes, but one random square will be an emoji with wide eyes. And we'll set the state of squares with this new array. Now in the handle click method, we will check if the correct emoji was clicked and update the score. We'll set the state with the updated score and call the fill squares method. Time to test the game. Wow, this is fun. You can now put React Developer on your resume. Thanks for watching.